the theme of the seminar, I'm not the one who, who really fix it. Uh, the hoster, and here in the case was Sandy, uh, I asked him, what do you want to see? Huh? And uh, he named something, one of the Ryuha, and uh, a weapon, and from that we start. So this time uh, we did Togakuleyu, uh, sometimes it's on like Togakuleyu Nimpo, Taijutsu, but you have the aspect of Kopo Jutsu and Koshi Jutsu in Togakuleyu. Uh, and also the aspect of Daken Taijutsu when you watch how the techniques are done, uh, especially the Ude Kata Tonsongata or Migi Ude Kata Ude Tonsongata or Kata Ude Tonsongata, and all the techniques that deals with Motodori. Uh, and uh, as a weapon, we're going to practice Kodachi. And uh, Kodachi means Kotachi, means small tachi. And then people are going to call this Wakizashi. And they translate the word wakizashi incorrectly because wakizashi doesn't mean short word, it means waki on the side, sasu, so like it's put on the side of your belt. Hmm? And then you have the word shoto, that means also short word. Hmm? When you say ninjato, it means the saber of the ninja. Hmm? So what kind of uh, saber it is? It's pretty much general. Of course, we want to point here the one that is portrayed in many, many movies. It's not that. So we're going to practice uh, the, the short word, huh? known as uh, Shoto, Kodachi, Wakizashi, hmm? and uh, Nawajutsu. Alors, Nawajutsu, you have different kind of name in the history. One known, of course, is Tori Nawajutsu. Hojujutsu is another way to read Tori Nawajutsu. The oldest uh, record, it's in the Takeno Chiryu, and one of the first uh, school of Jujutsu in Japan, uh, where uh, they uh, use the word Hayai Jin or Hayai Jutsu. It's a way to use the rope in a certain way. Uh, we have this, of course, in the nine schools. Uh, as Takagi Oshiryu, the founder, have learned Takeno Chiryu, it is inside. Even if it's not tough, certain part of the scroll that Takama Sensei had and gave to Hatsumi Sensei is written. Togaku, Ryu, Gyoko, you, all the you are as well, they include um, the use of the rope. So it's not Taijutsu plus rope, because for example, if your Taijutsu sucks, the way you use the weapon sucks. So it's the Taijutsu that comes from the use of the weapon, like always, like this, your Taijutsu is sharp. So the theme of the seminar more uh, deeply. So we're going to practice Toga Koleryu and a few movements, uh, the way of apply uh, Takeori from uh, Tsuki, from a uh, way to grab and punch, from uh, doing uh, and being able to do the kick and the Takeori at the same time, and how to use the inside of the hand, because the way of striking of Toga Koleryu, it's at the same time the highest level of Gyokuryu, Kotoryu, Gikan, Gyokushin. Hmm? Why? Because you use some weapon, so you cannot close completely your fist. Your hand needs to be open, so the strike requires a special conditioning. Very different conditioning that you have in sport martial arts. Huh? Even the shooto is done very dif differently. Uh, a lot of people talk about the shuko, the shuko, here shuko, here shuko, there. Shuko were not a weapon, uh, they were tools used as a weapon, convert as a weapon at the T moment when, for example, you do the working, a samurai who loved his land and loved to work the land, and at the moment when he's working his land, some uh, running, some uh, whatever, thieves came to attack and he doesn't have his blade because uh, he's working the land. You don't hold your sword when you're working the land. So he's using what he have around. So the Kama, for example, it's born like that. Kyoketsu Shoge is born like that. They were tools used for a daily life work. And then someone arrived and because the one who use it have um, a, a bujutsu, a ninjutsu, uh, Kobo Jutsu experience, battlefield experience, he used it like he had a weapon. And using the feature of the tools like a weapon. So because you have the Shuko, you cannot do the Boshiken in a regular way, the Fudo can, the Shikan can, the Shako, Gyokaku can, etc. So it's going to fit, it's going to condition, sorry, it's going to condition, it's going to give you and shape your body for a certain way of that's what we're going to practice right now not doing too many uh, techniques it's not important what is important is to be able to do one movement that works everywhere uh, a punch is a punch huh? if you work in boxing if you work in uh, muay thai if you work in kickboxing and even in judo uh, you will see uh, most of the the sportsmen and top sportsmen they doesn't they practice many techniques but they always always end up with one a punch is a punch whatever is an uppercut a direct or things it depends of the moment it depends of the counter it depends of the situation so here it is that's one of the aspects that Hatsumi Sensei and Takama Sensei first use it um, uh, Mampo Ichikisu uh, uh, 10,000 phenomenon come back to one 
Mm. So we need to work one aspect that makes work. And that's the reason why you, that's the aspect of Nimpo Taijutsu as well, is how you can fit any kind of movement, any kind of form. And that's um, first, my first hope, it's me, if I was enough complete. My hope, me, it's to be complete. When I teach, when I explain, when I demonstrate, I try to be the most complete. Did I cover every aspect? Did I give the orientation? Did I give a meaning? Because it's a quest of meaning. Did the technique I did works, help in the healthy way, in the right way, in the way, in the legacy that Takama Sensei gave to Hatsumi Sensei and Hatsumi Sensei to Ishizuka Sensei? The first things that I hope. Did I deliver something correct and people are happy and they see the value on that? That's the first thing. Now, what I hope for everyone is first they enjoy. They enjoy, they participated and they find few things for their own technique, for their own future. For example, if they come to practice oftenly with me, uh, something start to build up. And let's see if the house has become deeper on the base, higher on the top and wider inside. In other words, healthy body, wide heart uh, and deep vision.